this is a demo of a finished product if i uh, refresh this page and uh, scroll this page up to uh, 30 percent uh, this uh, back to top button uh, appears slowly and if i click on this uh, uh, button it uh, redirects me to the top of the page without having a uh, css id like this uh, in the permalink so uh, this is what we are going to build in this uh, video so let me re uh, close this window and <coughs> Uh, let me uh, shrink it so i have a very basic html uh, file here and other elements in this uh, uh, html has nothing to do with this um, scrolling effect all i need is uh, a uh, anchor link and i have a image um, wrapped uh, with anchor tag and i have a blank script file uh, and uh, css for the all the css are related to this placeholder content and write uh, related css here so with this in place my page uh, looks like this and i have this uh, small um, uh, icon here on the uh, bottom uh, so let me shrink my browser and uh, so i will uh, target uh, target this uh, css uh, class to my uh, css file so i will use uh, width to 40 pixel and height should be also 40 pixels so i get a um, square size and background add a background color uh, i already have a, a color code here so i will paste it and if i save this uh it looks like this let me make it bigger so you can see this and i will remove this uh later on anyways and inside this uh, emails this should uh, be 100 uh, percent for now uh, uh, not 100 percent 50 percent for now so you can see how it looks and so that's it and for this back to top uh, button i will use a, a fixed position so position uh, fix fix uh, from the bottom i will uh, uh, push it uh, 20 pixel to the up and from the right i uh, will make it uh, 10 pixel so if i save this and refresh uh, you will see that it uh, goes to this uh, right side and i will uh, uh, align this uh, icon to this uh, center of this uh, uh, background so uh, display flex and justify content center and align items should be always centered to center align it uh, vertically and so this is now perfectly centered and that's it for this and let me bring it back to uh, 40 pixel uh, don't uh, worry about memorizing any of this code i will give you a link to download this template uh, all right and uh, let me uh, copy this uh, css id and go to my script file so i will create a variable and name it go to uh, top equal to document uh, get element by id it should be uh, go top and i will create an anonymous function and store it in a uh, variable so constant uh, 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 there should be uh, anything you can name it anything or for example on uh, scroll uh, function yeah, i will create another variable uh, for to measure the scroll position in pixel uh, scroll uh, document uh, uh doc uh, document element uh, dot uh, scroll uh, top so and that's it i will also create a variable that will uh, measure the uh, uh, percentage of the scroll position so const uh, so uh, window dot uh, inner uh, height uh, you can change it uh, i am using uh, 30 percent you can change it uh, whatever you want and for this uh, if uh, this 
scroll position is uh, greater than this threshold i mean this 30 percent then i will add a uh, class to this uh, uh, css uh, 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 this anchor text so uh, do, uh, we don't need to type again document get element iv so i already, already have this variable so uh, class list add uh, for example active so otherwise uh, remove this class name so go top uh, class list uh, remove uh, so all this is saying is if the scroll position is uh, more than 30 percent then add this active class to this uh, css id or otherwise remove it uh, so this is very similar to uh, jquery like uh, 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 toggle class anyways so we need to call this uh, function uh, in the right moment so window um, add event listener this event listener this should be uh, scroll event and this event should be on scroll if this uh, happens then uh, do this so if i save this and refresh this page and if i inspect this you will see that let me uh, make it bigger so uh, if i scroll this you see that it active class is added and, and removes if i uh, it, it is less than uh, 30 percent so uh, let me write some css based on this uh, active class so uh, back to top dot active uh, so first of all i will uh, hide this uh, back to top button initially so opacity uh, should be zero and visibility should be uh, let me remove it uh, for now and show you how it looks so if i save this you see that it's gone but this cursor is uh, looks like an anchor so that's why we will use a uh, visibility uh, and should be hidden now if i uh, uh, refresh so it's normal so uh, in this uh, once this is done so i will offset these uh, two property in the css so paste it here and opacity should be one and visibility should be uh, visible so if i save this uh, you see that this uh, uh, comes up in the right moment so if i click on this nothing happens because we need to write a few more lines of uh, javascript so um, back to go top uh, and once again uh, add event listener uh if this is uh, uh event listener so click event if someone clicks on it then uh fire another function which is uh this one oops and uh this should be window not scroll scroll to and uh, this should be an object so top should be uh, zero and uh, the uh, behavior should be uh, smooth so if i save this and refresh this page uh, so this appears and uh, redirects to this uh, uh, top of this page so uh, that's it for is uh, you if you also want to want a, a transition effect so uh, i also want to add a, a hover effect for example uh, hover so background color should be i already have a code here so background color uh, this one so if i refresh uh, it uh, changing and i also want a transition effect so transition uh, should be oops 0 0.3 second is in should be good and if i refresh uh, it slightly move up and uh, moves down so that's it for this video i will give you a link to this anyways instead of giving to these links let me show you how you can download this go to github.com and um, uh, back to top let me show you go to uh, github.com slash she have iuc ssis abiuc and slash back to top so from there uh, click on this code and download this this zip 
so once you extract it you will file all this file so that's it for this video thanks